Today we'd like to show you how to mix and apply door plate 100 two-part epoxy mortar to protect the exposed area on the inside of a door plate line manhole when there are pipe penetrations. When you order this product that comes in a five gallon bucket labeled door plate 100 epoxy mortar with the ALOC logo down below. First remove the strip that holds the lid on. Inside you will find instructions how to measure and mix the resin part A. the hardener part B, a Sika color pack, and sand. Today, since I'm mixing a small batch, I will need nitrile gloves, a four cup plastic measuring cup, a teaspoon, a paint stirring stick or putty knife, a pointed trowel, and a clean rag. I will refer to the partial batch chart to see what quantities of each ingredient to mix to cover a one square foot exposed area created inside of a cast in 285 ALOC XL compression connector in a six inch flat wall. For this size opening, I need one half cup of part A, and one half cup of part B, which I will put in the measuring cup, a mix until the color is uniform. Next, I will add one cup of sand and thoroughly mix. Then add one teaspoon of the Sika coloring mix and mix until it becomes a gray color that matches the door plate liner. Next, taking the trowel, I begin to apply the epoxy mortar. With a compression style connector like this 285 ALOC XL, I will apply the coating smoothly and a little thinner near the connector, but being sure to cover all the exposed concrete, so when the pipe is installed from the outside, the connector has room to roll towards the inside and not be interfered with by a thick layer of epoxy mortar. On the other hand, once a boot connector has been installed in the cord hole, you can add 1 8 inch of epoxy mortar right up to it and not worry. Remember, only the inside of the opening that's now on line needs to be covered with the epoxy mortar to protect it from hydrogen sulfide corrosion. Next, I will begin to work the epoxy mortar around the edge and onto the door plate liner for about an inch or two. Once I feel I have good coverage, I will take the rag, lightly brush the trowel marks to smooth them out then finish up with a nice even edge all the way around. 